You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, B&B fans. It is Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I've got some incredible B&B season 37 spoilers for you. Yep, they dropped spoilers on the entire season, but most of them are going to happen pretty soon. And the biggest one seems like that Deacon Sharp is going to put a ring on Sheila Carter's finger. Weird, right? So in case you didn't already know it, next week is the debut of season 37 of Bold and the Beautiful and CBS dropped some epic spoilers that include a secret engagement and all signs point to it being Deacon Sharp and Sheila Carter, despite what you might be seeing on other channels that are certain it is Hope and Thomas. I don't think it is and I have very good reasons to share with you why I think it is Mrs. Nine Toes and Cobra Kai. All right, it's all going down next week for this particular spoiler, but then we have a bunch of other hot spoilers for season 37. Let's dig into these and more, but if you haven't already, please reach down and click subscribe so you don't miss any of our BNB updates. All right, so episode one of season 37 airs Thursday, September 21st, and the network issued five really hot spoilers, and one of them is about an engagement that comes combined with the other official spoilers for next week point directly to Deacon Sharp and his nine-toed lover, Sheila Carter. All right, we're going to dig into these five sizzling spoilers, but we're not going to start with that one right away because we got to build up to it. There's some other really good spoilers you guys are going to be real excited about. So the first one I'm going to start with is one that's likely to occur later in the season because who is involved, and that's the one about the five 30-somethings who are in a love Pentagon of sorts, at least the way that the spoiler is arranged. That's Thomas Hope, Liam, Steffi, and Finn. But to be more precise on the geometry, it's a couple stepping into uncharted territory and then a love triangle with one committed couple and an ex-husband butting in where he's got no business interfering, but does so nonetheless. So the spoilers about Hope and Liam, to me, seem ludicrous based on what we're seeing right now. The official spoiler for season 37 says, Viewers learn if Hope continues to pursue Thomas, who's a man dedicated to only her, or she'll reunite with her husband, Liam, who also admits to unrequited feelings for his ex, Steffi. And then the official season 37 spoilers add that Steffi is currently estranged from her husband, who she loves, Finn. So what's random to me about the first part of the spoiler is, well, the second part of the spoiler is just a statement of fact. And the first part of the spoiler is just bizarre because Liam has been very clear that Hope even kissing Thomas is a permanent deal breaker. He's told everybody who will listen, nope, never getting back with her, never, ever, ever getting back together to quote Taylor Swift. And considering what she's doing with Thomas right now, that should make her rift with Liam a permanent one. Because if he finds out they did the deed, that's so much worse than kissing, right? So... (laughs) The decision also is not in Hope's hands. The spoiler says that, you know, Hope is going to decide to reunite or not. Remember, she already made a half-hearted attempt to reconcile with Liam, but he said no, no. So it's not about her deciding to reunite with him. He has thoroughly rejected her and he's mentally moved on to his ex-wife. And right now, Liam seems thrilled that Steffi left Finn and took the kids to Europe because that means she's widened the gap between herself and Finn. And Liam is already making plans to go visit her, so I suspect he's going to try and take advantage of the situation to press his efforts to steal her away. All right, the second spoiler is about intern Luna Nazawa who is a fashion student with a mysterious past. That's really all they tell us. So, but then there's a different spoiler that I'm going to share with you that is going to shed a a little more light. So we already saw her on the tail end of season 36 as she was speaking on the phone to a woman, maybe her mom, maybe her grandma, maybe an auntie, who warned her to steer clear of the foresters. Uh, as she was in the Forrester Mansion, clearly not steering clear. So the spoilers say that she has a tie to someone from the past on Bold and the Beautiful. 
So I'm seeing some websites and some channels suggesting that she is related to Lee Finnegan. Maybe she's her secret daughter. Well, first of all, Lee couldn't have biological kids. That's why she adopted Finn. Second, it's kind of sketchy to suggest that because they're the only two Asian cast members that they must be related. Not cool to all the sites and channels going there. So also, third thing, Lee is not someone from the past. She is from the present. She is a new character. So the spoiler is clearly not about her. So to me, it's like sketchy to even suggest, oh, they're Asian, so they must be related. And second, that they didn't even bother to actually read and interpret the spoiler properly. And the proper part is blast from the past. So just that fact alone means it's definitely not a Lee and Luna relationship. I mean, it's, it's as, makes as much sense as, oh, they must be related. Both their names start with L. No, it's crazy. So the voice of the woman she spoke to on the phone also was clearly not Naomi Matsuda's voice. So I do have a few ideas about who it is that Luna is related to that is a blast from the past, but that's for a whole standalone video because there's a lot to it. But for now, she seems slated to be in the Forrester orbit, despite whoever this is telling her not to be, and looks like she's probably going to be in a romance with R.J. Forrester. The third spoiler is about Eric Forrester's hidden health condition that may end his career. The season 37 info says he is determined to create one final fashion line with RJ's help. And it says that the rivalry between Eric and Ridge culminates at a fashion challenge that's stunning and filled with gamesmanships and high stakes. It also uses the word heartbeat, that it's filled with gamesmanship, heartbeat, and high stakes. That makes no sense to use that word there. Given his health woes, I think they miswrote it and it was supposed to be heart break because yes heartbreaking that this is his last line heartbreaking that he has this health condition but the press releases and spoilers are not being written by decent writers because the decent writers are on strike so a lot of these have been pretty dodgy so some people have suggested eric might have als I don't think so for a couple of reasons. First, it doesn't fully explain these little mental lapses he's having. And General Hospital is doing an ALS story right now, and that's been known for months and months. So it would be really bizarre if Bold and the Beautiful thought, hey, let's jump on that ALS bandwagon. So I just don't think so. Some other sites and channels are suggesting Parkinson's, which only fits some of the symptoms, but not all the symptoms we're seeing, but it is a better fit than ALS. Alzheimer's or dementia cover both the tremors and the memory lapses, but nothing official on what is wrong with him. It's clearly not just arthritis, but we're just going to have to wait and see. But this could be both Eric Forster's and John McCook's swan song storyline. You never know. So I saved the best and most incredible spoiler for last. I'm combining the fourth and fifth spoilers together for B&B season 37 because they seem intrinsically linked when you know the other spoilers coming up. So I'll tell you about it and you guys can decide for yourselves if I'm right or wrong or partially right or partially wrong. So one of the spoilers says Sheila Carter finds out Deacon has gone to great lengths to prove his love for her. And the other spoiler says a shocking secret engagement leads to either scandal or happily ever after for one couple. So I believe the secret engagement is Deacon and Sheila because given everything that we're seeing right now, I don't see Hope saying she'll marry Thomas, at least not anytime soon. She keeps telling him this is just physical for her, even though she knows he loves her. Like every time we see them doing the deed at work and stuff, she's like, you understand this is just my naughty bits that want you, not my heart. And he's like, it's cool. So if Deacon um, asked Sheila to get married, that would be a totally different reaction. So the Friday, September 22nd spoiler, which is the second episode of season 37, says Deacon's fling with Sheila takes an unexpected turn. And another spoiler for that same day that's written slightly differently says a really romantic turn. I don't see any other couple on the the show on the cusp of being secretly engaged. 
If Thomas and Hope reach the point of an engagement, I would suspect they would already be public with their romance so it wouldn't be secret. Next week, Douglas is advocating for them to be together. He's setting up a little romantic dinner for them. So I feel like they're going to be public. And if an engagement comes, which I hope it does, public. There's no reason that they would keep it secret that I can see. And the Deacon Sheila stuff, there's just a lot of current spoilers on this. So if Deacon asks Sheila to get hitched, that would definitely show that he went to great lengths to prove his love. And it would definitely need to be kept secret because it could blow up his life. So that is the season 37 look ahead. And I have a couple of questions for you guys that I would like to have your comments on. But if you haven't already, please reach down and click subscribe so you don't miss any of our B&B updates. Definitely click a like if you enjoyed these season 37 spoilers. And now comment on whatever you want, obviously. But I would love to hear your input on this. One, would you be stunned if Deacon proposed to Sheila? Two, do you think Liam will find a way to steal Steffi? Three, is there any, any chance at all that Hope would take another look at Liam? And four, who do you see winning the big Eric versus Ridge fashion challenge? Drop your comments below. I will read them all. I promise. I read all your comments, every single one of them. I don't always have time to re reply. It just depends on how many comments we have. And you guys drop a lot, which I love. I love you guys interacting with us. So drop your comments. I definitely want to read them and come back soon for more b, &B spoilers and news right here at Soap Dirt on YouTube. This has been Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.